Hello and welcome to the Bible with Briscoe 2024. I am your messenger of the Word of God, Shenandoah Briscoe, and today we will be covering Psalms 97 through 99 and Romans 16. Father, I just ask for clarity of voice and articulation and a smooth reading of your Word so that it may be a blessing to you and for all those who have tuned in from all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, Amen. The Lord's power and dominion. Psalm 97. The Lord reigns. May the earth rejoice. May the many islands be joyful. Clouds and thick darkness surround him. Righteousness and justice are his foundation of his throne. Fire grows before him and burns up his enemies all around. His lightning lit up the whole earth, and the earth saw it and trembled. The mountains melted like wax in the presence of the Lord. And at the presence of the Lord, the whole earth, the heavens declared his righteousness, and all the people have seen his glory. May all those be ashamed who serve carved images, who boast in idols. Worship him, all you gods. Zion heard this and was joyful, and the daughters of Judea have rejoiced because of your judgments, Lord. And for you are the Lord most high over all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. Hate evil, you who love the Lord, who watch oh, watches over our souls of his godly ones. That's right, he saves from them, from the hands of the wicked. Oh, light is sown like seed for the righteous, and gladness for the upright of heart. Be joyful in the Lord, your righteous ones, and praise the, the mention of his holy name. A call of praise, the Lord, for his righteousness, a psalm. Psalm 98. Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has done wonderful things. His right hand and his holy arm have gained the victory for him. The Lord has made his salvation known. He has revealed his righteousness in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his gracious and his faithless faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout joyfully to the Lord, all the earth, and be cheerful and sing for joy and sing praises. Sing praises to the Lord with the lyre, with the lyre and the sounds of the melody with trumpets and the sounds of the horn shout joyfully before the king the lord and may the seas roar and all it contains the world and those who dwell in it and may the rivers clap their hands and may the mountains Sing together for joy and before the Lord. He, for he is coming to judge the earth, and he will judge the world with righteousness and the people with fairness. Praises to the Lord for his faithfulness to Israel. Psalm 99. The Lord reigns, the people tremble, and he sits enthroned above the cherubim. The earth quakes, and the Lord is great in Zion. And he is exalted above all the peoples. And may they praise your great and awesome name. Holy is he, the strength of the king's love, justice. Mm. You have established order and have it executed justice and righteousness 
in Jacob. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his footstool. Holy is he. Moses and Aaron are among his priests, and Samuel was among those who called on his name. They called upon the Lord, and he answered them. He spoke to them in the pillar of the cloud. They kept his testimonies and the statutes that he gave them. Lord our God, you answer them, and you were a forgiving God to them. And yet an avenger of their evil deeds. And exalt the Lord our God, and worship at his holy hill. For the Lord our God is holy. And that was Psalms 97 through 99. And now we will be turning to Romans 16. Greetings and love expressed, Romans 16. I commend to you our sisters, Phoebe, who is a servant of the church, which is at Chinchera, that you receive her in the Lord in a manner worthy of the saints, and that you help her in whatever matter she may have need of you. For she herself has also been a helper of many, and of myself as well. Great Chrysia and Aquila, my fellow workers in Christ Jesus, who risked their own necks for my life, to whom not only do I give thanks, but also all the churches of the Gentiles. Also, great the church that is in their house, and great, uh, great uh, Epimetus, my beloved, who is the first convert to Christ from Asia, and greet Mary, who has worked hard for you, and greet Andronicus and Junia, my kinsfolk, and my fellow pr prisoners who are outstanding in the view of all the apostles who also were in Christ before me. Great Epictetus, uh, greet Epictetus, my beloved in the Lord, and greet uh, Erbianus, our fellow worker in Christ, and Stasius, my beloved, and greet Apelles, the approved in Christ. And greet those who are of the household of Aristobulus, and greet Herodine, my kinsman, and greet those of the house of Nerissus, who are in the Lord. Greet Tyronius and Tyronius, and workers of the Lord, and greet Paris and the beloved who has worked hard in the Lord, and greet Rufus, a choice man in the Lord, also his mother and mine. Greet Asenitius, Philegon, uh, Hermius, Cardibus, Hermes, and the brothers and sisters with them. Greet Philagius and Julia, Nor Norris, and his sister, and Olympus, and all the saints who are with them. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the churches of Christ greet you. And now I urge you, brothers and sisters, keep your eye on those who cause dissension in the hindrance contrary to the teaching which you learned and turned away there from them. For such people are slaves, not of our Lord Christ, but of their own appetites, and by their smooth and 
flattering speech may deceive the hearts of the unsuspecting. For the report of your obedience has reached everyone, and therefore I am rejoicing over you. But I want you to be wise in what is good and innocent in what is evil. The God of peace will soon crush Satan under his feet. The grace of our Lord Jesus will be with you. Timothy, my fellow worker, greets you, and so does Lucius, Jason, and Sisterpater, my kinsman. I, Titius, who have written this letter, greet you in the Lord. Gios, host to me, and to the whole church greet you. Aristus, the city treasurer, greets you, and Portus, the brother. And now to him who is able to establish you according to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revolution uh, the revelation of the ministry mystery which has been kept secret for long ages past but now has been disclosed and through the scriptures of the prophets in accordance with the commandments of the eternal God has been made known to all the nations leading to obedience of faith to the only wise God through Jesus Christ who can be the glory forever. Amen. And that was Romans 16 which concludes the Bible with Crisco 2024 for today. Tomorrow we will be tuning in and covering Psalms 100 through 102 and 1 Corinthians 1. Father, I just thank you for your word. Because if it were not for your word, I would not be able to be your messenger of the word. And so I give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, Amen. I'd like to thank you folks for tuning in to the Bible with Briscoe 2024. Because, well, you know, uh, God loves you and so do I. So come on back and see us again tomorrow because, well, we'll be here, God willing. And we hope that you are too. Please like and share. God bless you. And have a great day.